The Half Moon Tavern on Cheapside was mentioned in Elias Ashmill's diary where he dined with a number of Freemasons after a lodge meeting at Mason's Hall in London, which was held at 5pm on the 11th of March 1682. Ashmill mentioned that he was the senior fellow among them, it being 35 years since he was admitted. And this, of course, refers to his being made a Freemason in Warrington in October 1646, bringing the story full circle. Indeed, the entry of this meeting in 1682 is only the second time he referred to attending a Masonic meeting in his diary. Few hints of the nature of this meeting are given. We know that a large number of the brethren mentioned by Ashmole were employed by Christopher Wren. And Ashmole mentions how a noble dinner was prepared at the charge of the new accepted Masons. Cheapside is not too far away from St Paul's Cathedral, which at the time of Ashmole's meeting was still under construction. Ashmole, by this stage in his life, was a renowned gentleman of knowledge. He was a fellow of the Royal Society, and as a senior fellow with the Freemasons, to have him at the lodge meeting would have been an honour. Thus, the Half Moon Tavern would have been a reputable tavern to dine in, and certainly met the requirements to give a noble dinner. After the Great Fire of London, and in spite of the quality of the rebuilding that was undertaken afterwards, later 17th century London was riddled with alleyways, filled with dwellings and taverns such as the Half Moon. Sometimes these alleyways followed old boundaries and became well known for the taverns that were situated in them. The Half Moon Tavern was situated in Half Moon Alley, heading from Cheapside and between Foster and Gutter Lanes. It could also be entered from Priest Court on Foster Lane and there was an entrance through the tavern to Gutter Lane. Its exact site is given and marked in Maitland's History of London Though the tavern was never engraved and the best authorities declare that it was never depicted. The area was bombed heavily during World War II and all that remains of Half Moon Alley today one can see from the head of the kitchen stairs in Sadler's Hall. <laughs>